to the back page, some final thoughts now. Two essential personnel under horrible personal assault for standing up for the United States Constitution. These are very revealing times, ladies and gentlemen, very revealing indeed. I've always said that during stressful times, when people are strained and under duress is when their true character is exposed, and now is one of those times. President Trump's a good example of this. Donald Trump is managing this Wuhan coronavirus crisis extremely well. He's using a combination of so-called expert advice from the Scientific Brain Trust, a.k.a. the CDC, along with a healthy dose of the president's gut instincts. Ultimately, what this means is the president is standing up for the Constitution. He's not ordering businesses closed, no. That would be mostly blue state governors. The president is not issuing stay-at-home orders. That would be Newsom, Cuomo, Garcetti, Pritzker, de Blasio. President Trump is attempting to stand up to this virus while standing up for the free market economy, which is being trashed right now. And it ain't easy. Despite the president suffering withering attack, his character remains resolute in his overall and overarching goal of doing what is best for we the people. This despite the mainstream media constantly and endlessly assaulting and twisting virtually everything the 45th president says and does. And the attacks on social media, vile, personal, and threatening. I should know, yours truly is taking similar incoming from our fellow Americans who launched the meanest, ugliest, personally threatening attacks that you could imagine. Maybe you can't imagine. I'm being told by these people that they hope I die from the Wuhan coronavirus. Others are even more graphic, more specific in how they would like to see me killed. Very graphic. And if not death to me, then they're wishing harm to my friends and family. They make fun of my looks and my career and my personal life. It's astounding. For what? What have I done to deserve this? Why, yes, I'm guilty. Guilty of standing up for the founding document and the president of the United States. Yep, guilty as charged. Yes, I'm questioning the authority of blue state governors to order businesses closed and people placed under self-imposed house arrest. Yes, I'm running the corona numbers, crunching them constantly, and I'm studying them. Yes, I'm using rational thinking and reasonable deduction to conclude that the government response to the Wuhan coronavirus is not commensurate with the outbreak. Yes, I'm connecting the nefarious partisan dots behind the draconian shutdown orders of these blue state and blue city elected officials and coming to the reasonable conclusion that their actions are politically motivated. And yes, I'm not afraid to let the American people know when their constitutional rights are under attack. And for this, I received death threats, just like the president, well, neither of us will be silenced. Donald Trump and I are just a couple of guys who happen to care about America and who are attempting to do what's best for the American people while protecting our God-given rights. That's all. Nothing more, nothing less. Just a couple of so-called essential personnel under vicious, vile, and vitriolic assault for the incredible crime of standing up for the United States Constitution. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.